Hey everyone, it's Jen with Jay Vinko coming at you from this very messy desk. You can't see it. Maybe you can see the edges. Maybe it's creeping in from the edges, but it's messy. And uh, and I'm back. And it is the Fourth of July, and I just wanted to do a little a little magazine harvest, a little journaling, and uh, just say hi to all of you guys. Um, thank you so much if you've been watching my videos and if you've subscribed. Uh, or not, but just uh, it's so nice to see some people watching my videos. That's really, really exciting. So thank you if you've subscribed or been watching, and um, and welcome. I am just uh, I don't know, just uh, enjoying the holiday weekend here. Oh, so it's the Fourth of July. Hope you guys are doing something fun. We have a fire ban here, and so we're not allowed to light anything off and. They're not even having a firework show, so just a light show, whatever that means. Um, so who knows? We've just been hanging out, been partying. We got another puzzle out on the table. <laughs> we finished the uh, thousand piece SpongeBob puzzle, and now we're on to an 80s puzzle, which is also a thousand pieces. So um, I just turned over all the pieces downstairs and got it going. It's actually, it's pretty fun. We just kind of wander over there and do that sometimes, just sit down and work on it here and there. So. Anyway, I better get going on this magazine harvest. So I need to get through these because they are just taking over my desk. And let's just do it. Let's find some good stuff. This is just a free, mostly food magazine from King Supers, the grocery store here locally. So there's, I don't know, it's not necessarily going to be a lot in here, but we'll give it a try. Actually, I think I've used this. I think this is part of my journal cover from last year. Yep, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know that I'll use it again. The hoarder in me wants to cut it out, but maybe we'll just skip it. I don't know. Let's make time. You know, I while I was editing my last video with the magazine Harvest in it also, I was like seeing all these things on screen and I was like, oh, why didn't I cut that out? Oh, I should have cut that out. So like I said, I, I'm going to go back through them some of these. Am I even on camera here? I better make sure. All right. This guy too. Oh my gosh. I've used this before too. Oh, funny. I mean, it's not that funny. I'm just using the same magazines. <laughs> it's really not that big of a coincidence. Um, maybe this is the same exact, maybe this isn't like a new version of this. Winter 2022. Nope, this is probably the same one that I cut those out of. Yep, this is the same too. Gosh, I'm pretty quick on the uptake of chickens. I cut those out. Alright, I'm gonna hang on to this for later. Maybe I'll... Since I've already gone through this once before, I'll just put this in the save pile. Right next to the trash pile. <laughs> okay. Um, here is just like a... Uh, dining and coupons for the area. Let's see what we've got here. Donuts are always good. That's kind of a good picture of donuts too. Let's go for it. The donut house. That's pretty good. Got some donuts from there recently. Let's see, is that on camera? Here, I'll put them over here. I don't know. You know, it's cheesy, but I'm gonna get these I'm gonna get this birthday cake too next to the chicken strip basket. Maybe I'll take both because on our birthdays here we uh, we let the birthday person choose like all the shows that we or, I mean that are being watched in the common area of the house. Um, and then they get to choose the meals and uh, and so Drake, my seven year old his favorite food is chicken and fries, if you ask him, and then he'll have his birthday cake. So those are both shoe-ins on his birthday, so that'll be good for the page. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, so I can't even remember what we did the rest of this weekend. I can't wait to get that sleep machine, because I don't uh, feel like my memory and my brain fog is just terrible. I mean, I know we spent most of the day together as a family on Saturday. But who knows what we did. I know we were working on that puzzle some. But what else did we do? I feel like we ate somewhere. Got food from somewhere. Oh, we went to Chili's, I think. The kids like Chili's, okay. I didn't. Che 
use that necessarily. Let's see. I have a hankering to watch the Hunger Games series again. You see, it doesn't take long and I start feeling like I want to see it again. And, uh, maybe I'll watch it pretty soon. I don't know about all these wacky... This would be kind of a funny picture to have, like, if I was trying to be, like, uh, luxurious or something, you know? I just have to kind of go with what I'm going to actually write about. I don't know. I don't know. This is probably not the best of the end. I've taken that before. That's in one of my pages last year. I think I'm going to do a flip through next time of last year's um, journal. I don't think I ever did that. from that one. We're making good time here. This is just a weird, what is this? I don't know. Costa Rica getaway issue. I don't know. Stuff people, not me. I don't know. Okay, so maybe this is, oh, it's just a, <laughs> it's a catalog. It's supposed to look like a, that's weird. That really creeps me out here. What's going on with the hairy legs and the short shorts and then the hat on the knee. I don't know. That we needed this shot and going that direction but they're oh gosh they're living it up in this catalog slash supposed to look like a magazine i don't know this probably isn't what i'm going for here this is a weird one this was a catalog one of the previous house owners was getting so <laughs> so it's not mine Wait a minute, did I just have this out? No, a different version. Summer and fall of 2021. Okay. Grilling. I like this, but this is in the way. Maybe I'll cut the whole thing out. It's a nice font, anyway. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I really wish that two wasn't there. I could just take the grilling. Oh, that's right. No, this is cute. I like this little cloud of food. And maybe even that person, just because we can't ever decide. How many of you guys have that problem going on in your house where that's like nobody wants to decide what to eat, but then everybody wants to complain about it? That's probably happening literally everywhere. Well, it certainly happens here. We've been doing HelloFresh. I think I mentioned that a few videos back, and it's really pretty cool if for no other reason than it teaches you some new cooking skills and some new like ideas and uh and so yeah so I think that I've really upped my cooking game I made some sauce yesterday with a bunch of fresh veggies and I'm not really a big fan of like rustic sauce but it turned out really good it was kind of like a vodka sauce with no vodka I mean it had like some cream cheese in it, but it had fresh onion, garlic, zucchini, shredded carrot that you saute down, and then they added tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, and then a little, a little bit of like diced canned tomatoes, and uh, it turned out really good. Sun's out, buns out. That's funny. I don't. I am gonna take that. Um, that just seems like something my household would really like. It's big though, but that's okay. It works. Hmm. Anyway, what was I talking about? The sauce. Yeah, so normally I cook from recipes, but HelloFresh has kind of shown me some new tricks and stuff, and so when I made that sauce, I was just like, this would be good in a sauce, this, 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 and I added all the stuff and tasted along the way, and I've never been the kind of person who can cook and be like, oh, this needs some basil and whatever. But I think I'm becoming more aware, kind of like a woke chef, I guess. That doesn't apply. 
I don't want to misuse woke. People get mad. Maybe. I don't know. That's kind of interesting, but I don't know. Yeah, I like that her hair is going straight up. That's that's cool. I'll take it. We're doing good. We're working efficiently through these. And we're making a mess. Um, let's see. So them again. I like that little scientist looking guy. I like the delicious. I have another delicious even right here on my desk. But I like this one. It's pretty big. But it might apply more than once. Like I said, I'm always trying to remember to use big words on my pages because I think they're really bring about some focus and interest, but then I don't, then I don't always use them. Here's one from a while ago, Women's Day. Oh, I've already, have I already cut this one up? Yeah. Huh, maybe I should re-go through it. No, we'll skip to one that we haven't gone through. This, the New Yorker, maybe I did this one too. Not remember. Well, maybe I don't think I did. Probably not. It looks like cool. Yeah. This little guy is pretty weird looking. <laughs> Just like him. I'm gonna take it down. He's eating a little tortilla chip. Reminds me of um. We were in City Park once, which is down near downtown Denver, and uh, Tim is always like really interested in the squirrels and the chipmunks and all the little critters out, and um, I feel like I'm merging two stories together, but anyway, there was, I feel like the story is that he was feeding them tortilla chips and this squirrel was like a little too comfortable with people and gung-ho and started kind of chasing him. <laughs> so. Um, so sometimes when we are somewhere where there are squirrels or chipmunks again, I have to remind him, like, hey, maybe keep your distance a little bit. You know? Anyway. Like, who gets chased by a squirrel? Just him. I like this with the raccoons in the office, although... I don't know. It's iffy. This magazine has some interesting... Um, stuff and then, I don't know, some less interesting, some just, like, I mean, there's a lot of text, obviously, stories in this. Look at the frog that doesn't realize, like, it, the water's heating up around it. That's pretty, I don't know, I feel like I just talked about that frog recently. Oh, so this is... Uh, this is all, these are all graphic dismal yikes. pictures from the Ukrainian stuff going on. I'm not going to put those on camera. Yeah. This is kind of cute. Little spiral picture. kind of graphic like death pictures I'm surprised they can just put in the magazine I don't know I feel like I don't know are they really allowed to be showing real pictures like this graphic I don't know oh that's good for cleaning see there's a bunch of little tiny pictures in here you don't need the snails I'm gonna go with these Cleaning stuff. That's what we really should be doing this weekend is some massive cleaning because we might have family visiting next week, but I don't know. Who feels like it? Nobody. I like this little guy. 
all this stuff. The whole... What is this that I'm cutting up? Again, I didn't read this magazine before I started cutting it up. Maybe I did read this episode. This episode. Alright. Stop blabbing and cut it out already. I like it. This is what my <laughs> office is going to look like. I'm just going to like be trapped in the center of a maze of boxes and stuff just piled up all around me. Ooh, these are good for the trash dish. Else. That's good for yard work. Wow, these little drawings really are spot on. I feel like they all apply. They must have planned it that way. Genealogy. I actually kind of like these. So, what else has been going on? Um, I have a second day of training for um, the hospice thing in about a week. And they're going to do that um, TB test. Ugh, needles. Yuck. But, got to do it. I'm just going to get it over with. And then I think I'm pretty much all set to start volunteering after that. And then the blanket is coming along, but I still need... Oh, look, I already did most of the <laughs> crossword in here. I guess I did read this magazine. Um, yeah, so I can start that pretty soon. What is this? Um, more advertisements in here. What else? Letter writing. Still doing that. Still working on the blanket. The blanket I probably have maybe 18 or 20 inches and it needs to be 60, so I've got a ways to go. Um, and what else? I don't know. I'm gonna see some of my friends at the end of the week that I haven't seen for a while. I've got a lunch. And I don't know what else. Just enjoy the summer. I guess I really need to get cracking figuring out school and all that jazz. I kind of like this bike. Part of it. Pretty big, but if I need it, to, you know, sometimes I hide behind the images if I need to take up a bunch of space because I don't have a lot to say. I can get something big like that. Recycle old paint. This I need to either check those people out because I've got some old paint to get rid of. So, what else? Felicity is really in a pickle. She... I don't know. I think she's far from figuring out her life at this point in the series, and I don't feel like there's many episodes left, so how are they going to leave this? I don't remember. I don't think I watched the whole series back when it came out. So I think she's just gonna stay in a pickle. Oh no, they gotta tie it up nicely. But you never know with these shows if they didn't have any real indication that they were cancelled, then maybe they didn't, uh, they did this one last time, but I do think I saw a goat picture and I'll have to get that. Anyway, if a show gets cancelled with, like, no notice, then maybe they can't tie things up the way they might want to. There we go, I gotta get that, because Vincent likes goats. That's his favorite animal. I know I saw some other stuff on oh, the video that I was surprised I didn't cut out. I surprised myself, even, you guys. Isn't that strange? But I don't want to keep this going too long. I'm gonna have journaling for you, too, so I better stop pretty soon here. Mm, all those sandwiches. That wasn't it. What was it? I don't know. Oh, 
just heard my 15 year old shouting next door. He's playing the game with his friends. That's what these kids do now, I guess. Back when I was a teenager, we had to do other stuff. They grew up in a different world, that's for sure. I don't know what it was, you guys, but at least I got the goat picture. Okay, next, coming at you with a little bit more journaling. Um, I am still doing some catch-up pages just to talk about the last couple months. And um, yeah, and then I should probably do a 4th of July weekend page, even though, as you can see, I can't remember what we've been doing this whole weekend, but I'm sure it'll come back to me. I'll make a list, okay? So be right back. And I am back already, and let's get down to business here with some journaling. Uh, while I try to figure out how to use my voiceover. So the pages I'm doing here is uh, some journaling for a little trip, uh, not a trip, like a day trip to the North Pole, which is, if you're not from this area, from the Colorado area, it is an amusement park that is on the side of Pikes Peak. So it's in the mountains and it's um, not too far, like a little over an hour for us to drive down there. And um, it's really cool. It's um, it's pretty old school. It's from the 50s and it's still working and we usually go there every year, but we haven't been there for the last couple of years because of COVID. So, um, so we finally got to go back and I thought maybe it was going to be a little iffy to, <laughs> not iffy, but my older son is 15. He'll be 16 soon. So I thought maybe he's aged out of it, but no. Um, he still had fun. They have a good kind of mixture of younger kid rides and, and rides for anybody. So, um, and then you also get a little workout cause it's kind of a, kind of a hike. I think, um, as far as I know, they have the highest elevation Ferris wheel in the world there. And to get to that Ferris wheel, <laughs> you can either, there is a, a longer trail that is kind of, you know, a, a less steep grade you can get there up to the ferris wheel and then there's the like really crazy steep straight up the hill walk to the ferris wheel and we always do that um to save time but boy it, it burns it burns those buns and thighs so um so anyway it was really fun to go back we went on a weekday i'm forever trying to avoid crowds and so we decided to go on a monday i think and um, what's exciting about it is in the summer, in my journal, it gave me an excuse to use my envelope, there it is, of Christmas stuff, of holiday images and words and stuff. So I went through that before I started journaling and pulled out some stuff I wanted to include. I really, really like that Santa on the back of the bag. Um, I decided to do a two-page spread because I had enough photos for it printed all of those photos out on my Canon mini printer and that Santa I love that Santa for some reason on the back of the bag there and it went well because I had a picture of Drake with Santa he was right there at the front of the park when we got there um and Drake looked a little like shell-shocked or a little awkward standing with Santa but um and, like he talks a big game and then when we're actually with Santa, he's like, hi, <laughs> he's all shy. So, uh, so yeah. Um, and I kind of like that stripy tree. Um, obviously I like it. Otherwise I wouldn't have put it in there. Oh, uh, so I decided to tip a bag in so that, um, I have the map from the park and I also had like a handout they gave about, what rides weren't going to be working because they had they're short staffed maybe like everywhere seems to be and um so they had that list and um my first inclination which maybe it's the same for a lot of you is when i get you know stuff just random junk like junk journalers save it they they think consciously to save it i'm always like oh this is trash oh this is trash i just want to throw it away but um but those are the kinds of things that I want to be able to look back at, you know, because kind of historical in a way, not like, not like a giant, um, really important thing to remember, but it kind of gives some context and stuff when you look back. So I was glad I saved that. I even saved the receipt because, you know, 
then we can see what it costs for all of us to get in there. So um, it was fun. We we went on all kinds of rides. The older I get, the less capable I am of <laughs> bouncing back from being on those rides. We went on the Tilt-A-Whirl a lot. Like, uh, there were no lines. There was, like, a very uh, minimal amount of people wandering, so you didn't have to wait in line for anything, which was really fun. Um, but the Tilt-A-Whirl, we probably went on, I don't know, we probably went on it four or five times in a row and then left and then came back and did it another three or four times in a row. Tim started to feel a little queasy, so he stopped going on it. Um to kind of get his bearings back. And then um, I ended up writing about this on the actual Christmas tree on that page. So when I'm, when I start writing on it, you'll know where I put this. I, I wrote that I, whenever I ride on that sky ride, that's, you know, way up high going over the park. I always think about those news stories where people fall off of that ride. And so every time I'm sitting on there, I'm just tense and diligent in my attempt to make sure we are safe and like I always have my arm around whichever child is on the ride with me and just nervous the whole ride even though I really like that ride it's like my pace it's like nice and slow and you get you get a good view but you know paranoid me is like I'm, we're gonna end up a news story I really hope this doesn't fall off or something uh terrible thoughts I don't know what's wrong with me just who knows? Maybe you guys think the same thing. I don't know. It's just hard not to like remember the news stories when you're at an amusement park. The terrible things. So maybe I should just, you know, try to enjoy it. I do enjoy it. We um we went to the little toy shop and the little candy shop. I don't usually go to those. I've been going to this park since I was a little kid. I mean, I used to go down the candy cane colored slide, um, you know, when I was like four and five. And so it's funny to still be going there with my own kids, but we never really went into the toy shop or the candy shop much. Any of the other times I went there, I don't remember ever even going into them, but we went this time and picked out some stuff and I got some fudge. Um, unfortunately, Unfortunately for me, it was the best fudge I've had in quite some time, and um, I usually try a little bit of fudge from the the touristy places we go, and this was the best one, and it's nowhere near us, <laughs> so that sucks. Um, hopefully someday I'll, maybe someday I'll learn how to make it well enough that I don't need to buy it from somewhere. I don't need the fudge, let's be honest. Let's just let's just get some cauliflower instead. So that sticker I put, that white sticker with the print, that's a Tim Holtz sticker that says, I need a, a six month vacation twice a year. It says something like that, something sassy that makes sense to me. That fits what I, how I feel. I, I really don't have any right to feel that way. I don't have a job right now. <laughs> so I guess I am on one of those six month vacations right now. Um, Let's see what else here. So I, I just wrote about the whole day. Um, what's cool about the North Pole is they have an actual pole near, kind of near Santa's house in the middle of the park. And it's covered with like ice and snow. And I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure they have some kind of frozen water refrigerator system going through the middle of that pole, but you can like leave your fingerprints on it and stuff like that. So um, we checked that out. Uh, you can't even really see it, but it's on that top picture there. They're they're trying to draw faces in that little snowy thing. Um, and they have their little fire pit going because <laughs> this park is actually open until Christmas Eve. So it's open when it's cold out. But um, obviously during the summer, we don't really need the, <laughs> the fire pit going. Um, but the ambiance, you know, so they have a little, I mean, I don't know if it's a, a little pond where you're supposed to throw coins, but Drake made a wish anyway and threw coin in 
I think Vincent did too, even though he tries <laughs> not to appear sentimental, kind of. Um, but yeah, and uh, let's see what else they. Tim took Drake on the little train. I don't tend to ride the little train because it's just got like a lot of diesel smoke coming back at you, and that's the one that makes me nauseous, so I avoided it. Um, but it was fun to go there, and get some souvenirs, and again, you can see I used a couple of big words on the on these pages. Um, I really like having a focal point of a word or a couple of keywords that fit with the theme. Um, that kind of, I don't know, I think it makes things more eye-catching to have some some big words on there as well as the colorful images. Um, and that bag is like a little, like a little paper gift bag. I think I got a set of those just from Amazon just when I was ordering some different supplies. Um, and I used some, I have a lot of Christmas washi tape, so I used some of that on the front of that bag. And that worked out pretty good. There, I am I mostly wrote in black pen, but then I switched to kind of a purpley color to talk about a different specific uh, piece about that day. So it's nice to change colors to kind of break up the page too. I like that. I like things to be <laughs> orderly and organized and um, easy to figure out. So um, I thought it was a really fun spread to put together. And again, I, I liked being able to use some of my collection of Christmas stuff from this, the uh, magazine harvests that I do during Christmas. There's a lot of stuff you can get during that time. There's just um, a longer focus on that holiday. And here I'm just looking for a couple stickers to fill in some spots that are that go along with the theme. Um, <laughs> this doesn't doesn't really go along with the theme that well. Just a little guy holding maracas, but I think I was just talking about, you know, how much fun the the kids had and everything. So, and then there's some, I think those are Mulang stickers, and there's some Christmassy ones there. So I just stuck one of those in there, and then just to add a little bit of glitz. Um, there are some metallic kind of um, border stickers that I put on that tree. So I, don't, I thought that turned out pretty good. And I think that's it for my for my Christmas pages. Christmas in July, Christmas in June, really. Um, it was a fun trip and that's all I've got. So I, oh, there's the, there's the map and the, um, see there, it's pretty cool. I cut the um, that thing in the middle of the wreath with Santa on it. That's that came off the front of the map. I wanted to put that separately on the page. Uh, and then there's the receipt. So I just tucked all of that in the bag, and it it made the journal a little fatter, but that's okay. I I'm glad to have it. And like people often put those in their junk journals, you know, to they have different documentation kind of stuff to include in their junk journals. So maybe my journal is a little bit of a mixture of different things, daily and memory keeping and maybe the junk journal. So that's it. That's my whole spread. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Take care.